Hello there and welcome back to Arcanum of Magic and to, well, Steamwork uh, and Magic Obscura. And this time we're definitely going with the Magic Obscura. Because we have a whole puzzle to solve around this fountain, ghost and all these symbols on the ground. And yeah, I do absolutely don't know how it works exactly. It has something to do with all these symbols. That are on the ground everywhere and painted on buildings and the like. So yeah, it's just this whole city, uh, made city, is like a big puzzle. You should uh, maybe uh, have some words with the various uh, people here. Alright, so... To the students of magic. Hello. Welcome. We are honored to have you have uh, the pure of heart visit us here in Tula. Ah, true no character stand before me. I bet you welcome, Outlander. Oh, what a bunch of goody two-shoes. Right, so here we have this cross and spiral. Okay, it is unlocked, so I should be able to go through it. Hello? Door's unlocked, I can open it. It says they're unlocked, but that's a lie or something, apparently, because uh, I ain't going through. Now, there was like a saying that uh, this whole thing would say uh, that the ghost would appear around midnight. So I think we need to, uh, to advance time till midnight to see what exactly has been happening. So we are going forward at least, uh, let's see, what time is it now? 17 so four hours first so then we're at 21 so we advance it at two hours and now we're at 23 so we advance it one more hour Ah, here is a ghost. Hello, ghost. You look a little bit fancier than normal ghost. The spirit before you says nothing. Okay, so this doesn't help at all. I hope it's not that we have to cast certain spells, because then we're pretty much stuck here. I would assume not, because, you know, this is part of the main plot, this puzzle, and I don't think they would uh, if you like, uh, oh well, you can't do that as a technologist, so just wander around like an idiot. Oh! That glows! Okay, let's see what we can do. Uh, I have an idea for this, so I'm actually going to grab a piece of paper, and... We're gonna make some notes, because I think that will be of important here if all these symbols start to glow or something. What a nice glowy circle. Anyway, let's look at this. Alright, so. Alright, so, right, so the star, let's begin with that one. Starburst. has like a circle with like a wavy thing on top of it then a little sort of fence on the side quite a symbolic interpretation we're doing here a uh, bull head upside down and then what looks like an X on the nine o'clock face. Ooh. Okay, above that's the cross circle. Uh, with like a half pie in the top, or a Pac-Man. A very swirly thing on the side. I cannot identify it. Then little waves at the bottom. And lastly, a triangle with an X at the other side. Okay. Let's try working with these two symbols first. See if we can find something out with this. How do 
do I close this again? Yeah, that's fine. Oop. What did I just do? I don't know what that button does. I am now randomly pressing buttons, apparently. Ghost is gone. Alright, so let's see if we cannot begin with a cross or something. Ah, that's the upside down triangle, but we need to probably begin with the pie uh, eater. Let's go find the pie eater. So I'm hoping it's clockwise. That's an interesting swirly thing. That's the M. Where, oh, where is the pie eater? So, ah, here's the pie eater. Right, pie eater activated. Okay, after pie eater comes a swirly thing. We saw that. I think uh, over here. Yeah, I think it's that thing. Okay, that swirly thing. Then next comes uh, little wavies. Where are the little wavies? That's three. That's not the little wavies. Oh, there's more symbols over there. That's the upside down bull. We will be getting that on the other end. Uh, ah, here's the wavies. Okay. And then finally the little triangle square, which is right here. And that also is right in front of... That house and that unlocks it. Very good. What did I just pick up? I don't know what I just picked up. Okay, uh, what did we just pick up? Versus of the Wanderer Canto. All that rooted before is rooted to in this earth, in this water, in this fire. In the air that surrounds us, not a thought of, no thought of, at last, but as what I came first, and the final step before you come to me. Okay, that's the cross. Okay, so the final step is this one, I think. Alright, now let's do the starburst. So we first need to have like a circle with a little wavy thing on top from what I saw. Yeah, it's this one. So, definition, then comes the weird square thing, which would be, let's see if we can recognize it here. What looks like a square? This is the M. That is the X thing. I think it's this one. Meta magic. Okay. Ah, here it is. Meta magic. Then we have the uh, bull. It's a simple one. It's that one. Upside down bull. Easy. I don't know what school that actually is. I think it might be summoning. Um, no, it's enchantment. Okay. And then lastly, we have the axe. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, and there it is. And that should, yeah, enters the door with the uh, cross. There we go. I wonder if we are really the first people to enter here, because that would seem silly. First Canto 2. 
There's only one step which begins a journey. Wise are they who wear the cloak of truth. Clear as their vision, clear as their vision. Clear as their way, clear as their vision. And clear will be that which they seek. Right, so it seems like... Okay, I'm actually going to put the books in order here. So this seems like the first. And this one seems the last. Right, let's see what the orders are for the other circles. All right, so now we have the other side. So we have a swirly thing. Swirly thing, yuk. Swirly thing is, uh, I think that's transportation magic or something. Conveyance. Uh, then we have the little five. It almost looks like, yeah. And then an M in the bottom. And a circle with a thing going in it from the side with a hook on it okay so with a little fish hook almost okay and then we have the uh, five cross thing I guess what a little man I don't know um, looks like another fish hook in the top Ah, that's uh, probably dark and white necromancy. Then we have the four in the bottom. And the three as the last step. Okay, three is easy to find. Okay, uh, so swirly thing. Uh, conveyance, I think, was the first symbol. I recognize that one. Because I use it on my other playthrough, so that's why I remember it. Uh, it is over here. So, Alright, then next up we have the number 5, which I think is over there, yeah. Alright, that's pressed. Then we go to the M. And lastly, we have probably just find the door that's not locked with a tree the C with the swirly hook thing and another canto let's read it see what order this one is for power stands strong not first above but just underneath as all that is raised needs power to raise it not first above, but just underneath. Okay, so this is the second one then. So I put it in the second spot. And which to solve the rest of the puzzle, though I have no idea how to solve that exactly. Maybe it's also pressing on things. I imagine this is the third. The tie that binds first to the last. Yeah, so this is the second to last one. First to its child is spirit of all, spirit that calls and the way, much brighter before you. What a bunch of gibberish. Okay, so, um, I think we have an order in which to now handle these central things. So we begin with star, then we go to spiral. Five thing and finally cross. So beginning with star. Okay. Okay. It's not glowing up or any blow glowing or anything. I really hope we don't have to cast spells or something, because that would be not working for us. Pelosian Amulet. Maybe we should wear this? Ah, okay, that explains it. Now we have to do this. Okay, so now we do the square, spiral, the thing. 
Broken Ross, and finally, Center of Magic. Hooray! Greetings, traveler! Long as I waited for you to come! Genki, I'm not that hard to get it to make you come, you know. You can just call. In fact, I was here earlier, but you didn't say nothing. That won't help me with coming. Anyway, what can I do for you? A science traveler! You read them, did you not? The mural of enlightenment, the verses of the wanderer, the objects you have assembled here today. All of these were signs left for you, and they were also signs for me, so that I would know you when you came. Most people know when you come, you know. <laughs> There's a lot of dirty jokes we're making here. <laughs> uh, anyway, so you knew. All this time you've just been waiting and stuff. Yes, traveller. I was blessed with the gift of seeing the future. And I knew that someday you would need my help. So I am here and you are here. How is it that I can be of service? Now, i got some questions. Usually that's always said uh, it. Then I shall do my best to answer. Uh, where are the Vendigroff ruins? The Vendigroff ruins? That's a very easy play, easy traveler. The apparition points to a place on your map. A place of sorrow, a place of death. Can you tell me a bit more about them? Vendigroff was an amazing place, traveler. There are the wonders now. There are wonders now, here in your time. But I tell you, Vendigroff was a city of marvels and wonders. This thing you call technology. The people of Vendigroff mastered it long before the dwarves. I can't even begin to describe the things they created. But then Aeronax became all, all pissy and because uh, he was scared of such things, yeah? Yes! And he annihilated them because of it. Thread carefully in the ruins of old Vendigraf Traveler. The blood of its people still scream for retribution, for revenge. It is an evil place, twisted by pain and fury. Your journey there will not be an easy one. We've got some more questions then. And I shall do my best to answer. So what role do I play in all this then? Because since I'm not the living one and such, and you are not the living one because you're real dead. Your role is a strange one, traveller. One hand, you might say that you are merely fate's puppet, destined to play the role given to you. But if you look at it the other, another way, it is you and only you that has any choice whatsoever. It is everyone else who dances to the strings. In the end, how you see things is your decision, and your decision alone. Oh, that's a real interesting point of view. Some more questions then. Then I shall do my best to answer. So if you could see the future, how does this all end? <laughs> I knew you were going to ask that question. Did you really expect an answer? Well, yeah, actually. Well, then I shall do my best to answer other things. That's a dick move. I want to walk through in the game. Uh, I guess that's all for now then. Bye. Yes, I must go as well. My long vision vigil is over and I can finally go to my rest. Fate has not yet chosen and death himself awaits. Farewell, traveler. Okay. Now, Pelosian's amulet is pretty decent. 40 magic resistance, though we, we, we prefer this one. whole beauty and stuff but uh, yeah well hang on to it we might give it to someone well, that should set us uh, out and about though we do have a few uh, things we might want to solve here uh, let us actually proceed to daytime and have a chat with some of the mages see if we can find a few other answers because we do know that uh, well we need some cure for Werewolf stuff, and we were told that the Mage of Tula might know of such. So let us go and find 
some people that actually, you know, will have a chat with us. And are not just named Tula, student of magic. Let's go. Ah, two noble creatures stand before me. I bid you welcome, Outlander. Cool. Not uh, really what we uh, have any handiness for. Tula, student of magic. Tula, student of magic. Tula, student of magic. So many students of magic. As they are quite a successful school. And they look a bit less violent than uh, than Hogwarts, so I got that as a plus. All right, so also less dangerous than X uh, than Xavier's School of uh, Magic. So yeah, you can learn learn from this. Ah, well, he at least have a different look and name. Sir, it's nice to make your acquaintance. Hello, do you got a name because you look different? Yes, I do have a name. I am Herzot Monk. Apprentice mage in the College of Phantasm. How do you do, sir? I'm doing pretty good. I found like a whole destiny and secrets and stuff. And I'm going to go see the ruins soon. Ah, that's very nice. Well, thank you. Might I ask some questions, Herzot? Nimrod, <laughs> Shirley, what do you need to know? What can you tell me about Tula, Hazelt? Tula? Oh, it's a wonderful place. Full of strange things and interesting people. If only I didn't have to do all the bloody school, this bloody schoolwork. How is a fellow supposed to enjoy himself if nose is always in books? Well, unless they really enjoy books. That's usually the case with my ages. Do you have much schooling left? Oh no, not really. A few partisan papers, some illusionary presentations, nothing all that difficult. Of course, there is the final examination. What was that entail then? There's a maze underneath Tula. It was built by an old illusionist centuries ago. An old elf by the name of Falkin. In order to fa pass the final exam, I need to retrieve a platinum chalice from the middle of Falkin's maze. And uh, bring back, uh, bring it back to the master illusionist. It's not that I don't think I can do it, but it's just uh, that there's so much else I would rather be doing. And maybe I can help for money. He gives you a sly, sly look. Yes, there is a possibility. Yes, that just might work out nicely. That uh, that way, I could run uh, could run out later with the boys. There's a fireball tourney later this afternoon, and I'd love to play. In it. I'd love to play. In. Fine. I've got an old scroll phantasm theme around here. Shall we uh, call that your payment? Uh, sure. Probably goes to the junk salesman, but whatever. Very good. Also, fireball tourney. Okay, I take back that this place might be safer than Hogwarts or Xavier School to give students. I think they are just as loony. Very good. This scroll is yours. Once you return with the chalice. The entrance of the maze is just out in the courtyard. In the archway made of stone. You'll need this coin in order to pass through into the maze. He hands you a coin. I'll be there when you're done. Alright, good luck to you. Not really what I was looking for, but it's a side quest. Okay, so let's see if there's other mages that might have actually have things for me to do. And then, uh, yeah, we have uh, kind of Tula completed for our studies. I mean, our questing, I mean, yeah. Now, if you are a mage character, you can now actually in the city also find the various mage masters of the various schools and thusly learn um, learn mastery in uh, certain schools of magic if you are very high level in it and yeah that makes casting I think easier and more powerful so I'm guessing the mage teachers are in this building I guess this is the school itself but I don't see many people here are here, I can hear them. Nice bet. Here's one. Master Mage. Let's have a chat with her. How do you do? 
Hello there, missus. Can I ask what's the college you mastered? I am Sibitinka, mistress of morphing magic. Oh, do you know anything about werewolf, mistress? I am not into that fetish, thank you very much. No, 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 I don't mean like that. I mean uh, to restore it. Ah, but of course, like restorative will cure a person who has become infected uh, by a werewolf. It is a very difficult potion to create, taking seven years to prepare correctly. It make, it's making is a closely held secret here in Tula. Can I borrow some? Oh my. And, and we had believed werewolves to be extinct. Oh, we actually told her about the girl and stuff. These past few hundred years. There's one badge available in our stores. You may purchase it for 2,000 coin. I am sorry, but it's so expensive that the ingredients and time demand that to, to be so. That's expensive, but I got that money. I got like 60,000. I'm really fucking rich. Ah, oh, thank you, Ogre. So you are really fucking rich. Do you want me to be your mistress? Because then I make more money. No, thank you. Thank you, Ogre. Here you are. I pray that you are in time and uh, no one has destroyed the girl you are attempting to help. Oh, uh, thank you, ma'am. I will, will go take this to her immediately. Actually, I won't, but uh, still. Can I ask some questions, Sin Bokto? What can you need help with? Have you heard much about technology? Technology? Only the unskilled masters are utilizing to, to, to perform great feats of uh, and miracles. Things that we have been do performing effortlessly for millennia. Such foolish creatures to common people. She sounds like a uh, <laughs> like a dark elf, honestly. Uh, interesting opinion. Thank you for sharing it. Anything else, Elgar? No, thank you. I think that is the most important quest uh, that we want to do here. Though there is also that mage that was traveling and needed to, us to deal with his... Uh... But let's look at the time. Yeah, I think I will check in with the masters before we head out later so until next episode we'll see if there's more side quests and adventures to be had here it's uh, at school till then bye bye